so it's an issue. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Let me break this down. Gas fees are high because people are using the network. I know that sounds obvious. But I just let me frame this. So if they're high because people are using the network and they you know they go up the price the pulse chain price you know could be up and down you know we we hope it goes up over time but people are using the network so the way i look at it is would you rather them not use the network and there'd be a lot less volume because who benefits if they're using network so validators people collecting fees all that stuff they benefit onboarding hey there's a ton of volume people using the network all the people using the network whatever projects they are they're using pulse chain so now the community likes pulse chain well, you know they're they're in pulse chain so what is the trade-off well the average user now has to pay higher gas fee okay yes so why would that affect you if you sacrificed you probably have a ton of pls you know because it's plentiful that's it was uh what ten thousand per dollar right so it's you probably got even if you even if you sacked a thousand bucks, you probably got a ton of PLS, plenty enough for plenty of transactions. Not not that you want to spend them on it, but that's the way it is. It's a new network. If you didn't sack, well, you know that then it's kind of chicken egg problem. How do you get PLS to do all the stuff? I get it. However, who, you know, that it's a natural part of the blockchain. This is not something that like can be fixed, should be fixed, shouldn't happen. All these things are just feelings. Like there really are these emotions. And I know I I acknowledge, I understand people out there are frustrated because, you know, maybe you want to do transactions and you can't. And that's frustrating. I get it. But if you zoom out and look at the bigger picture, long-term, maybe short-term pain, frustration, I understand. I got some, you know, I got transactions and I'm like, wow, I don't want to pay that much to do them or, you know, know, bridge transaction. All of a sudden we're all waiting. We're all waiting for a lot of stuff to happen to go through and all these things. But if you zoom out and you not just say, I'm mad because my transaction won't go through because what you're saying is no matter what, I prefer my transaction for my trade or my, my bridge or my bridging, whatever you're saying, you would prefer that to work over anything else. You would rather the network have less traffic there be less activity, less growth, less onboarding because you want your transaction to go through. At the end of the day, I mean, you're kind of, I'm not saying you in particular, but in general, this, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this ideal of gas fees shouldn't be so high. The bridge should be working. All these things there in my mind, there is no should. None of these things are supposed to just work all the time at launch. And it's even like I I'm I don't like that people are being frustrated. I don't like that effect. But the fact that it's having such a just insane FOMO for people to get in and out and do all the stuff and pin up energy that they need to wait and further delay gratification. That seems to be a much better thing than a launch and everyone's like, hey, and then nothing happens. No one uses it being underwhelming, right? I think a new network launching to be overwhelming, even though there's some short-term pain, there always is with any product. Any product, it's not just blockchain, it's not just pulse chain. So any product launch that's highly successful, that is, is on the road we're on, there's going to be those things happen. So I've said before, at some point, you know, a lot of people said this, I heard Dipcatcher dip say it to, and I kind of get it, you know, I get a lot from him. I got this idea of like, hey, high gas fees mean people value the network. Ethereum, why is a hundred dollars transaction? That seems perfectly fine and natural in the GUI terms. Alex from Hedron was talking about this. But it just seems so high because in dollar terms, Ethereum is worth so much. If, if Ethereum is worth a dollar, paying that much GUI, nobody'd be outraged about it, right? But Ethereum's worth thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So people are mad. So you think about it like that. If, if you want to, I mean, you don't have to think about it like that, but I think that's a much healthier perspective and it's more technically sound and it removes just the emotion of not getting to do transactions that you want to do. 
when if you zoom out, there's plenty of things to be happy about the network having so much adoption already and so much volume. And if you participate in that, if you're a validator, if you're you know LP, if you're you know doing participating in the environment, then you're also incentivized to want that to happen. So I think the people who just aren't incentivized that much are maybe just the pedestrian, hey, here's a new chain. You know, I get it. And we welcome you too. We we want everyone to use use and enjoy Pulse Chain. Come on in. That's awesome. However, you got to look at, you know, you got to look at the incentive structure. You got to look at how networks work and what makes things valuable, people using them over time. Couldn't be more bullish on this launch. It, it exceeded my expectations in a good way. Again, I wish people didn't have to go through the pain. I get it. But it's if you zoom out, this is sort of sort of what you want. You don't want users to be frustrated, but you want this much usage and volume and FOMO. So hope that helps. Just wanted to kind of elaborate on that a bit because I know a lot of people, you know, have a lot of emotional responses to it. And yeah, you know, I've did transactions, but God, why isn't this working? Been waiting a day. Why isn't it working? I get it, but I keep that local. I don't, I don't go and, and like start blaming Richard and stuff for it as if, it should be different. 